Angela Rayner is in trouble. Angela Rayner is the deputy leader of the Labour Party and she has been asked to publish the tax advice she received about the sale of a house over a decade ago. And she, from her point of view, she's been caught in a sting where uh, there's an element of hypocrisy. She has criticised people in the Conservative Party for their um, tax fiddles, and now she's caught in one of her own. And the allegation was brought to a head by Lord Ashcroft, by a biography that, uh, that, that, that he wrote and that was serialised in the uh, Mail on Sunday. And there are questions about who was living in the house that was sold. Because if she was living in the house that was sold and she was registered to vote in that house, then she doesn't have to pay capital gains tax. And she didn't. She didn't pay capital gains tax. But there's a second house, apparently. Uh, so the first house is in Stockport's Vicarage Road which she bought with a 25% discount in 2007. And then she sold it eight years later at market rate. And the problem is there was another house at Londers Lane, the address of her then husband. And the claims are that her brother was occupying the property on Vicarage Road. Now, she could have been liable to a capital gains tax bill of £1,500, However, uh, she also claims to have spent £15,000 on home improvements at Vicarage Road and, uh, and, and, and that property was the one that she had nominated as her, uh, as her main residence, I believe. She'd received legal and tax advice that... Uh, showed that she hadn't dodged the payment of any capital gains tax. She says, I've done nothing wrong. I've got my advice. I'm not going to lie about the tax advice. That would be ridiculous. And this has entirely been accepted by the leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, except that he, when, when he said, oh, yes, that's perfectly OK, he hadn't seen that tax advice. He hadn't seen the legal advice, which is extraordinary from somebody who's trained as a lawyer to simply take somebody's word without checking the details. She says, I'm not going to put out my personal details for the last 15 years about my family. If we're going to have a level playing field, then you show me yours, I'll show you mine. And she's referring specifically to people like uh, Rishi Sunak, Jeremy Hunt. If they all want to say, I'll give you my last 15 years of my tax details, I'm happy to disclose all of mine at the same time. In the meantime, she thinks this is a smear. The problem is, if, if she was living in a different property, and if she has sold that first property as her permanent address, and if it wasn't, then technically, maybe, there is a ground for saying that she's done something wrong. It's a small amount of money. And... It's a, it's a technicality, but it makes it very difficult for the Labour Party to attack the Conservative Party ministers who are all up to these various schemes, it seems, to dodge tax, to um, make a buck here, make a buck there, sell this, sell that, when the Labour Party seems to be doing the same sort of thing. Now, you could say... Uh, is this hypocrisy or are we holding to a higher standard than normal those people who are in public office? To which I would say, yes, absolutely. If you're elected to public office, you are an icon of the people and you are expected to keep a standard of behavior which is above suspicion, which is beyond the standard of behavior that we would expect of somebody who manages the local fish and chip shop or works at the local fish and chip shop. Mandy Austin, not that that's a smear on the local fish and chip shop, 
Man, uh, an, another another food that was introduced by migration. Mandy Austin in the comment section uh, <laughs> says uh, anything to say about Angela Rayner um, being investigated by the police. No bitchy vlog about that. Well, I think she should be investigated by the police. I think we should have that standard. Well, and and exactly, not yet, Mandy. I, I think Mandy Austin labours, <laughs> use the term pointedly, under the delusion that I am, uh, well, as, as Maya Tusi says, um, a lefty snowflake. I, I'm so far not. I think I've remained politically in exactly the same position I've occupied for the last 20 years. It's the it's the world that has moved around me. And uh, I, I, I didn't, I don't see myself as being particularly pro-Labour. I, I think there are some great uh, rhetoricians, some great orators in the Labour Party and far fewer in the Conservative Party. And I love oratory. I love political discourse and political speeches. I, I think particularly of Tony Benn and Michael Foote. Michael Foote is this person who introduces pause in, in, uh, towards the latter part of a sentence, which was so brilliant, and then he would rush into the next sentence. But I, I simply think I'm steering a central path, and I see little to praise in Labour I think Labour will win the next election, not because of its own efforts, but because of the failure of the Conservative Party. And there is pl plenty to call out in the present Conservative government. But where there's an opportunity to praise, I would do that as well. I think credit where credit is due. But there is a desire in the YouTube sphere to produce this echo chamber and to assume everybody belongs to a little tribe. Well, as far as I know, I don't belong to a tribe. I am tribeless. I am politically homeless. But that doesn't mean that, <laughs> that I've lurched into a labor camp. I, 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 I am not some sort of Alcibiades uh, going from one side to the other. So, Mandy Austin, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but uh, insofar as um, uh, James Daly, uh, I, I, I'm not sure how far this police investigation has got into Angela Rayner's affairs. I know that James Daly, um, one of the Conservative Party deputy chairs, had complained that Greater Manchester Police had failed to investigate the claims that Rayner had broken the law by giving false information about where she was living on the electoral roll. Um, it's, uh, and, and certainly of, of, uh, by March the 12th, the police force had said they uh, said that Angela Rayner would not face investigation. Uh, so I, 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 haven't, I have no idea whether there is an investigation going on. Maybe, um, maybe you know more about this than I do, and, uh, and and that would be interesting. But, you know, she she's in a difficult position, and it, it's, it's a position that uh, she seems to have got herself into on her own. <laughs> on her own. She's, uh, she's done it herself. Um, this, is, this is the sort of scandal, quite frankly, that we've seen so often in the Tory ranks, uh, and it's uh, unusual to find um, a Labour rancor in the same mess. But there may be a simple explanation.